Chris won it on the ground for St. Mullins, but it's a bit of stalemate and a scrum for possession down there, like we had in Japan for the last few weeks. Kula come forward. Free, yeah. They have a free, free from the 20 meter line. It's 213 to 17. St. Mullins lead here in Netwatch Cullen Park. The three minutes is more or less up in Netwatch Cullen Park. 213 is a total of 19 points to 17. They need, they need a score. They yeah, they need two scores. They need two scores, but they certainly need this one. They yeah, certainly need this one. And they seem to be going to go for the point. Like, you know, have they got time? To, I doubt it because the, the three minutes are up. Here the, is the free. This is super for, for David Carl Tracy. Hurry. He has to get it. He sends it in and over the bar. Is there time for another one? I hear you say. I doubt it. It's 2.13 to St. Mullins. It's 18 points to Kula. 33 minutes and 27 seconds have been played. There was two changes made. We should have another 30 seconds. The referee looks at his watch. Kevin Kyo has the ball in his hand. He strikes it out the field. Mick Murta, he has the whistle in his mouth. He, he has the whistle in his mouth. Said Mullins have the ball. Seamus Murphy, it's gone in around the house. The score here is all the need. Oh, that's a free in. He doesn't give it. In comes St. Mullins, number 18, which is Paul Kyo. Kula have it. It's all over. And St. Mullins have beat Kula. 2.30 to 80 points. We went from Bally Murphy to Bangkok before. Today we're going from St. Mullins to St. Etienne. And Carla Hurling has put another stride up the ladder this afternoon. The All-Ireland champions of two years ago and three years ago are knocked out in Carlo on a scoreline of two goals and 13 points to 18 points. What a day for Carlo Hurling again. What a day for players of the calibre of the boys that carry the banner for the county over the last few years. And to the men like Chris Cavanagh and Gary Bennett who hurled with Carl on John Doerr and Ger Cavanagh who didn't start today Michael Walsh and Paul Dyle outstanding in the back line James Dyle brilliant with Oshin Boland in the middle and what about Patrick Boland Seamus Murphy the great Marty Cavanagh Philly Connors Jack Cavanagh Jason O'Neill Terrence this is a super day for Carlo Hurling and you know what we gave them every chance at half time and they deserve to win that from the effort alone this afternoon in Netwatch Cullen Park. Absolutely, absolutely, Brendan. You're 100% right. Like, you know, you have to be so proud like, to be a Carla man here. As I said, to come into this game, nobody gave him a chance. Like, I kind of thought, listen, they might run the three or four points. To be quite honest with you, I thought Kula would have too many, too many, you know, big names, household names, but listen, just forget about those. I said, Marty, Paul Dyle, Christopher Kavanagh, Gary Bennett. Listen, you could mention the whole door. John Dorden put his heart on the line. I said, James Dyle's goal after being set up by Marty. Like, you know, phenomenal score. Seamus Murphy gave everything. Like, Jack Cavanagh has won one of his best games for many, many, many a year, like, you know. There's a, there's fair a, faith to say, Murphy, they were brilliant. There's they were a lovely brilliant. text from a man that hurled with Kilkenny for all his years, led Donna Maggot to a junior title straight in with Damon the text. Kennedy, centre back. And, and he just said, he's delighted for St. Mullins, yeah. excellent hurlers and great for Carlo Hurling. Yeah, and that's what it is. Absolutely great for Carlo Hurling. In fact, I don't even know who the winners play in this you know, Tommy but, Murphy will tell you there. <laughs> but, you know, as I said, a phenomenal score, phenomenal game from the Carlo Horning thing, and hopefully, lads, it'll make the winter short for us. Hopefully, we'll get another couple of days out anyway. Well, you got one out today. We'll come to Tommy in a moment. Turns. A magnificent afternoon for Carlo Hurley. For, for the great people of St Mullins over the years, this is massive. Yeah, this is massive. The life of Martin Lennon, the man down there, give all his life to the Hurling in St Mullins. Like Martin has been, you know, he's been his health not great recently. Like this will give the man an extra couple of years.